Someone will help them or keep them, support them, promote them, don't blame them. You're the same. That was a young Antonio Banderas playing opposite Madonna in Evita back in 1996. Fast forward to today and we find him going home, back to Spain, for a new role as the controversial artist Pablo Picasso. Seth Doan has been watching him in action. Malaga becomes a little village. To see Antonio Banderas' hometown with Antonio Banderas. Hola. Hola. I know you. I know you too. Well, you've got to keep moving. Ciao. You create quite a fuss when you go someplace. Yeah, somebody's the mother of the son of the daughter of the cousin. So everybody knows everybody over here. So it's normal. Three, two. Dodging the perils of nearly constant requests for photos, Banderas took us on a whirlwind tour of his Malaga, this ancient city of half a million on the Spanish coast. He wanted us to see the church where he was baptized and where he returns each year to help carry a massive float in Holy Week processions. Don't forget who you are and where are your roots. A man without a roots is a nobody. A nobody. His roots in Malaga, growing up with his brother Javier, were humble, far from the life of a celebrity who'd need to don a hat and sunglasses to avoid detection. Your dad was a policeman, your mom was a school teacher. What did they think about you becoming an actor? Oh, they didn't like it at all at the beginning. The beginning was very bad. But of course it turned out to be very good. Very simple, ever a run fundamental. Banderas went on to star opposite Madonna in Evita and Brad Pitt in Interview with a Vampire. The much debated Zorro. No. Legendary Zorro. He played a suave swordsman in the Mask of Zorro. On my honor, I am obliged to accompany you until you have saved your life, as you have spared me mine. And was the big voice of the tiny cat Puss in Boots in the Shrek sequels. I hate Mondays. Your career is hard to characterize. I love that. <laughs> have you heard from my children lately? His latest role hits a little closer to home. Banderas plays another famous Malagueño, Pablo Picasso. I really had the opportunity here to uh, discover a man who was born in my town to whom I feel linked. This is the woman that lived the most with him. He showed us around the Picasso Museum in Malaga, but it was in a makeup trailer in Budapest, Hungary, where we saw him become Picasso. I shaved my head, I shaved my eyebrows, and over that we, we start creating the character. In two and a half hours, makeup artists transformed the youthful 57-year-old into a much older looking Picasso for the National Geographic series, Genius. How was it to play him? Hard. Playing the dark side of him is hard because he's my idol. Picasso, of course, was a legendary painter and philanderer. His life is chronicled in the 10-episode series premiering later this month. I'm not ready to die. Excellent. One last time. This takes endurance, take after take after take. Yeah, I'm happy that you are watching it because this is the life of actors. People, people sometimes believe that we live in a, in a red carpet or something like that. I'm not ready to die. Acting, acting in movies or in theater is a hard work. Banderas has been a fixture on that red carpet. His 19-year marriage with fellow A-lister actress Melanie Griffith plunged him into the spotlight. It was a long way from the small stage in Spain, where he was once arrested for doing politically sensitive theater, and where he was discovered by groundbreaking Spanish director Pedro Almodovar. He stepped into territories that were totally forbidden before, homosexuality. There was a number of things that never were seen in the Spanish cinematography. Banderas's work with Almodovar, specifically the Oscar-nominated Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, led to a meeting with a Hollywood producer. There was only one problem. This guy said to me, I told him that you speak English. I said, but how can you say that? I don't speak at all. So I sit down and I fake the whole entire dinner that I was a very shy guy. <laughs> Didn't want to say very much. It was just yes and no's. But it worked and you got the part in Mambo Kings? <laughs> he believed it. 
I know it's been very hard for you. So for his first Hollywood film, The Mambo Kings, Banderas, who still could not speak English, learned the lines phonetically. That was 1992. I have loved you. So I came back to Spain and I said, okay, I did I can tell that to my grandson. You know, I did a movie in America. And then Philadelphia came. Oh, you got a fever, baby. In Philadelphia, Banderas played the lover of Tom Hanks' character, a lawyer with HIV. It was like a fresh air. It was like saying, yes, it's, it's about time. It's about time that Hollywood comes out of the closet. The only way to be a true artist is to work day and night. He's hypercritical of himself and his performances. I think I will die, not to me, thinking, ah, I didn't get that thing that I would be remembered for. And it was a real-life brush with death, a heart attack he suffered in January 2017, that made him more reflective of the roles he plays, a dad being the most important one. That's my daughter. Photos of Stella Del Carmen, his daughter with Melanie Griffith, are up at El Pimpi, the restaurant he adores and co-owns. My daughter always have here a place. He keeps a room for Stella in his sprawling Malaga apartment, which is filled with awards and art, some of it quite recognizable. I had another one, but I, I gave it to Melanie. After the divorce, she kept one, and I kept the other one. This is a sketch by Picasso. How was it to go through a divorce with someone? Painful. Some... It's always painful. And to just start discovering that not everything is over, that... Um, we can keep our friendship, we can keep our memories, we can be proud of them. I think we have done it very well. She's part of my life, she's my family, and she will be until the day I die. Upstairs on the roof terrace, wow, it's amazing. Where Moorish walls and a Roman amphitheater provide a breathtaking backdrop, he pointed out where he was raised and where Picasso was born. You grew up surrounded by Picasso, knowing about Picasso, yes. being proud of Picasso. And finally being Picasso. <laughs> Still, he's always searching. He wants to direct again and has gone back to school for fashion design. Antonio Banderas relishes playing many roles, not only those on camera. I do a lot of things. This is only one life. You have to do them. Yeah. And, and, and there is time, absolutely, there is time for everything.